previously. There we go, that's all that stuff away, right? We don't want that, or that, or this. I know that some of those were quite rare, but I don't really give two hoots about it. I just want them out of my life. Out of my life. And then paint goes in this chest, apart from negative paint, which can now go there. And, oh, we've got lots of money on us as well. Done and done. Right. Okay, halfway through the night, that's not too bad. We visited the Shiver Fawn factory, we did Shiver Fawn. Hmm. There's one thing I want to do, but I kind of need it to end this. End this uh, Blood Moon first. I could always talk about some of my fishing topics while we wait for the Blood Moon to end. You know, stuff I decided to talk about while we're fishing. Where, how far did I get? Uh. King Slime Trophy. Did I rant about the King Slime Trophy? I'm not even sure anymore. Mini builds. Oh, I'll go over this in case I don't... Did I talk? I don't even remember what topics I talked about. Basically, anyway. Mini builds. These mini let's builds that I've been doing. The ones that I have planned now are much, much simpler and will not take anywhere near the amount of time as some of these previous ones have been Admittedly, they're not going to be as grandiose and amazing. Not that some of them were grandiose, but they're a lot simpler. No fancy shapes that will take me ages to figure out and stupid measurements. Just simple little builds that should mainly take one or two episodes to do. So when it comes to those, that's fine. But like I said, I have to be really careful because I'm assuming by the time this, this video must be about, what, 496? Freak, freak. Yeah, 496, maybe 497. I even forgot the hundreds of the video then. I was thinking 196. And then 396, and I got confused. Episode 500 is the one that's coming up. It's the one we're looking forward to. I need to be really careful, actually, because... Yeah, okay, we're safe from rifts. I don't want to kill my people. It is 136. Three minutes, and then the Blood Moon is over, and then we can do the other task that I have. Planned, which is ironically not even in this world. We'll be going to a different world to do it. But I don't have to return to this world and be in the middle of a blood moon. I'm going to wait for this blood moon to be over and done with. Wandering eye, you can wander right out of here, sunshine. See, I, I love the fact that I'm so well defended here. I don't have to do anything. But at the same time, I hate the fact that I, I can't really do anything. Once the update comes out uh, that allows NPCs to defend themselves, I'll be much happier. Because at the moment, they'll just die. But once the update comes out, the NPCs can... They have weapons, basically, to defend themselves. And I think that some of them have abilities as well. I'm not sure. But when they go in easy mode, uh, they have a certain weapon. And when they go in hard mode, they have a, they have a different weapon. So, for example, the Travelling Merchant, he has a revolver. Unless you're in hard mode, in which case he has the pulse button. So, uh, the odd Wraith or two invading the base with my NPCs shouldn't be an issue. Because together, they should just be able to completely destroy it. But right now, uh, they are, they're essentially doomed. Doomed to perish. Look at all of those bandages and fangs or teeth or whatever they are. Hate them. They're worth nothing. They fill up my inventory. Such a common drop. I don't think they used to be. I think the common drop factor is fairly new. Come on, get out of here. Also, one thing I need to do is when I save and quit, I always have to make sure I turn, turn my traps off. Because if I don't, what happens is when I log back in, the traps and enabled are turned off again. But all of the uh, flooring, like these holes here, remains open. So when it comes time to flick on the, the traps, 
the traps turn on, but the floors close. So I, then I have to rejig everything back together. It's a, it's a pain in the butt, and sometimes I have forgotten about it. But shouldn't be a problem if I remember. Hopefully I do remember. Oh, look at all this down here. You know what? I'll pick some of this stuff up. Look at all those purples. If only that meant something. Let's just throw away everything we got. Look. Three of these. We got three of these. One of those, one of those. I could sell this stuff and I just don't even care about it. Right, you know what? Now is high time, I believe, to ooh, grab that. And then go over to the underwater base. Why? Because there's stuff I want to put away. And I'm always eager to keep an eye out for lenses, which is what I scooped up a few of during that fight. And of what I can pop into this chest here. Put them up to look. 300 and a bit. And then we have slime, which I believe goes in this one. Do I not have slime? Oh, I do, but I put it in my bin. There we go. Lovely jubbly. We will turn this off. We will... We will quickly ask the angler if he wants something that we already have. We don't have one of those. Also, we'll then jump up here and grab that. You know what? It wasn't that long ago since the traveling merchant showed up, was it? Hmm. Hopefully it comes soon. Anyway, let's get out of here. The type of world we go to... Right, here's the thing. We are not trying to get a specific world type with a specific item in it. Like, we're trying to get a pyramid, or the corruption, or the blood, or a dungeon with certain coloured bricks, or whatever else. Small world, that'll do. And we're in, and we've instantly picked up something. Dirt, of course it is. Uh, right, so what we're looking for here is guaranteed to be here. That's the good thing about the item we want. Uh, the problem, well, not so much a problem, a distraction, I would say, is that there is other stuff we can grab while we're here, should we be so inclined. For example, if we saw any treasure chests, we may open them and have a look. If we see any gold or platinum, we'll dig it up. How good is the homing on this? It's not perfect. Is there any homing on it? I've, I've definitely seen it cave towards enemies, but that slime, it wouldn't seem to hunt it down. All right, we've got some bloody ice here. Doesn't really matter. We'll get right through it as quick as we can, which doesn't appear to be that freaking quick. Yes, yeah, so I actually never said what I'm here for, did I? We're here for palm wood. Uh, we don't need boreal wood. That's fine. Yeah, we're here for... Screw it, we might as well take some of this. We're here for palm wood, because we cannot get it to grow in our weld. I've said before that it is bugged. I'm still standing by that statement. I haven't checked on it in a while, actually, but I'm assuming it's... Considering it didn't grow for, like, 20 episodes or so, it hasn't grown now. So, yeah, we want some palm wood. And the reason we want some palm wood is for our next mini let's build. Which... I, yeah, sure, why not? I'll tell you. I think I think I already did, actually. I want to build a little pier. A little fishing area. A little hut. Something to store my fish and fishing gear in. Uh, this this crimson area is massive, by the way. Uh, and I figure, why not make it out of palm wood? We haven't made anything out of palm wood yet, as far as I remember. And it would suit it perfectly, I imagine. We must have made about a thousand shade wood here. Ha 500. I was halfway there. I could say I was living on a prep. Oh, the slimes were. Yeah, look at the homing. It's not that good on this on this uh, thing at all. Maybe if I don't try to aim it, maybe if I just let it do its thing. Hey, we found a shine potion. I always take a shine potion. They're always useful as our chests, apart from that one because that was crap. Build a potion. I always take a build a potion. Why? Because it's pretty new, and I don't have that many, and it saves me crafting them myself. So I'm kind of hoping an enemy's going to show up now, so that I can see the homing on this. 
Alright, is this a desert or is this a beach? We chose a small world. I'm surprised how big this world has been. Up and over the jungle. The jungle? The, um... The... Dungeon. My god, my brain is filled. Alright, okay, we definitely got more than three trees. So that's good. Give me all this palm wood. Four tree. Oh, some more trees over here. I'll take them. Oh, lots of palm wood. Yeah. This one world might have actually been enough for us. Right, there's the uh, angler there. We'll just we'll just ignore him for now. Oh, this is so good. I this this is a really big beach. And then this should maybe drop us into the sea. No, even more. Even more, but we are at the ocean now. And uh, you know what we'll do? We will switch in this so that we can breathe. We'll pop out this guy so we can see. And... So it uh, homed in on that jellyfish. But only when it was retaining. Does it not home in on the... Right, here's what I think is going on with the possessed hatchet. I think it only homes in on the enemy on its retain trip and not on its outward bound trip. That is my theory. I need something else to show up so I can test it. So, if I fire it, like, up here. Yeah, it caved downwards to get it. I don't think on its initial trip it will cave towards an enemy. Only on its return trip. Hmm. Let me know. Do your own research. Find out if I am lying or telling the truth. But it seems to me it will home in on the enemy on the way back, not on the way forward. There's a lot of death pits around here. I'm, I'm really tempted to just go for a little bit of spelunking. Try to find some gold or platinum just to get some more Slime King, tro uh, Slime King summons. Try and get that trophy, but... There we go. That, that works. Right, let's try this. On the way back. Not on the way there, but on the way back. So if I fire it really close to it, wait for it to jump. Oh, that one caved on the way in. Maybe it's just picky. Maybe it's just really picky about what it decides to home in on. Is that diamonds? Holy crap. don't think I've ever seen diamonds on the surface before. Those root No, those are amethysts. Don't care about amethysts. If there were rubies, you might have my attention, but... Amethysts. Nah. Seen plenty of amethysts in my time. I have more than you would ever believe. Get out with you. Come on, oh! Come on then, get to the... Oh! Rubies and gold! All the ingredients for a slime crown are right here. It's like it knows. I think that is a sign. I think just purely, there's literally slime, gold, and rubies there. Slime, gold, and rubies. The three ingredients I need. That is a sign. Okay, after we've done the beach, we are going to go for a little bit of a dig. We're going to have a look around for some gold. Maybe not too big of a too big of a dig. But enough of a dig. Oh, look at that giant skeleton. I've never seen that parallax before. You see that? There's even another one behind it. That's really cool. Is that just the one? Oh, no, here we go. I thought the beach had ended. Are there two anglers? Hang on, will he show up as a head or will he show up as a, a dot? He shows up as a dot. Two anglers in this world. That's interesting. Right, let's be able to breathe under water. Let us look for some... Chesterusus. This is a big ocean. That is very lacking in chests. I am surprised, genuinely surprised there, that this world has zero. Read zero. Ocean chests. Right. I really want to do some digging. But, I am aware that A, I'm about to drown, and B, 
I don't have any potions to be able to see what's going on. So I'm going to get down here into clear what is a crimson world. And then we're going to take this gold, because gold. We are going to save and exit. Head back to our world, put away the stuff we have. I'm also going to sneeze in a second, because... Okay. Oh, I felt that coming a mile away.